The Akuma content for Street Fighter VI continues to roll in as GameSpot hits us with just over 8 uninterrupted minutes of new footage. The next DLC character, who drops on May 22nd, faces off against DJ, himself, and Manon in the video. It may be a level 7 computer controlling Akuma, but we still get to see plenty of interesting facets of his gameplay that further our early understanding of how he'll play here in SF6. We do notice some little things that appear to be amendments from Akuma's appearance back in Street Fighter V, such as his visually powerful uppercut animation wherein he slams his foe back down to the ground after hitting them up into the air with a Goshoryuken, 107. You may recall that when the demonic fighter lander this maneuver in Street Fighter V, it left him right next to his opponent for some easy Okaizen pressure with pretty much whatever he wanted. Now the maneuver causes the victim to bounce a bit away from Akuma, surely leaving him with fewer options than in the previous version. The beginning of the second mirror match round, 328, offers us an idea of how the character's dreaded air fireball will work when used in neutral. As the round starts, one Akuma shoots out a regular fireball while the other takes step forward and does an instant air version of the same technique. The former has time to recover and block, while the latter doesn't appear to move forward too far. Given how overpowering this single maneuver has proven in Street Fighter 2, 4, and 5, we're really hoping that Capcom has figured out how to balance it a decent bit better this time around. Another powerful tool we've seen Akuma take advantage of over the years is his rapidly recovering Demon Flip Palm. Not only has this move provided him with a mix-up as he approaches from the air, it's also traditional recovered quickly enough to allow him to use it as a kind of feint when it whiffs and then quickly go into another attack. He whiffs the move against Manon, for 30, and still recovers extremely quickly. That said, when we paused and moved the footage frame by frame, it appeared as though there were around 7 to 9 frames of recovery after the attack whiffed, which is better than the 4 we had back in Street Fighter 4. Those are just a few of the many moments we can learn from in the footage graciously provided by GameSpot. So give it a watch, and then please share anything of interest that you spy in the comments section afterwards. Want more Street Fighter 6 Akuma? You can check out his move list, see what he looks like on the character select screen, and peep his character guide video straight from Capcom. Capcom has just released the latest for Street Fighter SIXS upcoming DLC character, Akuma. Following his big gameplay reveal trailer and theme, the company has now gone ahead and unveiled even more details about what the demonic Shoto is capable of. A brand new Akuma character guide video has been released and features 11 minutes of instructional footage telling what all he can do in battle this time around. This new character tutorial video runs viewers through all of Akuma's moves and what they do. There are also tips and tricks on how these maneuvers were intended to be used, as well as strategies for how to use them yourself. Right from the jump, Capcom describes Akuma as having a range of powerful, easy-to-use moves. To balance that, Akuma has low vitality, making him a character that demands the ability to read and react to situations rapidly. If you suspected that Akuma would have an absolute slew of tools at his disposal for a variety of different situations, you suspected correctly. Capcom list projectiles, anti-air techniques, close-range strikes, corner carry options, and even an additional throw as things he can do to keep his options varied. Akuma is said to have fast walking speed and long reaching attacks that are powerful tools for controlling space. His Go Hadouken Fireball is back, and now has a variety of different options, including the ability to hold a punch for the grounded version to charge it up and make it more powerful. He still maintains his air fireballs too, and while they can't be charged like their ground counterparts, the overdrive version can be shot from a neutral jump. One important note is that if Akuma gets hit while an air fireball is on screen, it will actually disappear. Getting to the juicier details, this video guide shares more information on his Shun Goku Satsu critical art, Raging Demon. It is now confirmed that if Akuma activates it up close, the opponent cannot jump away from it once it has started. They would have already had to have been jumping prior to the screen freeze. It is also worth noting that the Raging Demon only has invincibility to projectiles, and you can only use it when Akuma's health drops to 25% or lower. That being said, Capcom mentions that this critical art is the final word in combo closers, likely meaning that it is very powerful when used at the end of combos. Check out Akuma's Street Fighter 6 character guide video below. Akuma is coming to Street Fighter 6 as DLC on May 22nd.